you Mr. Robertson for taking the time for the interview. Uh, we're going to start with the first question right away. Uh, which innovations are in focus of this year's Who's and Wind? Yeah, well, Who's and Wind this year for us is all about Inventus. Uh, Inventus is our new platform, it's our modular architecture. Um, and we really, and this is really an extremely innovative uh, new system from Vestas. Uh, a lot of inspiration from uh, the automotive industry, where modularization has really been a sta uh, standard for many years and has produced a lot of value. And now we're making a big step to introduce that into wind. For me, you know, the first decade of the 2000s was all about all about the two megawatt platform. Then the second decade was all about our three megawatt platform, the V112, the V126. Uh, and now the V150 4.2 and the next decade that the platform from Vestas for the, until 2030 it's going to be our Inventus platform, our modular architecture uh, and I think, I, think we're, I think the whole industry is going to be surprised at the amount of the amount that this new, this new way of designing turbines is going to bring. It's really an exciting new innovation. Okay, thank you. Um, from your point of view what are the main challenges in the German market and are these challenges reason enough to focus more on international markets instead? Oh, challenges in the German market. Uh, it's my favorite topic at the moment. Uh, I mean, it's, we, we, I, we have to be clear that it's an extremely tough time in the German market right now. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're all aware of the, the, uh, the, the Windkipfel that took place in Berlin uh, last week. I mean, we really are facing uh, uh, an existential crisis uh, for the onshore wind industry in Germany. I mean, it's a fantastic industry. I, I come from the UK, which is also a large wind market, but much smaller uh, presence of manufacturing in the UK market. And you compare that to Germany, there's a huge ma a manufacturing presence here, a huge um, uh, 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 supply chain serving the onshore wind industry. And that's fantastic, and that's here because we've had you know, 20 years of solid, reliable, installations and that has changed uh, and that's putting everything at risk we have to be quite clear that's extremely dangerous what's behind it I think the the, uh, uh, the, the industry's 10-point paper that was uh, uh, submitted to, um, to Mr. Altmaier uh, before the conference really sums it up quite well we've got major issues with the availability of uh, space for planning turbines the so-called flashing for uh, it's about uh, nature protection natur schutz major topic wind is wind protects nature it protects uh, endangered species by stopping the uh, climate change and uh, at the moment the way the laws are set up in Germany those two are actually working against each other it's really quite strange and the third point that is uh, is, is critical is uh, increasing acceptance and uh, the wind industry has shown in this 10 point paper that we are we are ready uh, to support that um, through uh, the Kommunale Beteiligung, so, so the uh, Kommunale Abgabe, so it's sharing some of the revenue that comes from wind projects in the local communities. Thank you very much. Already our last question, uh, which segment has the largest growth potential in the regional markets and which segment is the one you will focus on in the next years? So. Um, this is NCE, Northern and Central Europe, which is uh, my part of the business. We operate in 40 different markets from yeah, all across Europe and also in Southern Africa. And, and we've seen some, some great progress. I mean, the Scandinavian markets are performing extremely well. Uh, Eastern Europe and Russia have been very successful. Uh, we see positive signals in, in, in Southern Africa and also um, the UK and Ireland uh, seems to be picking up. Um, Germany's been a big disappointment. Um, in recent years, I think that's everyone's clear. You ask me where I see the growth potential, where the focus markets are. My focus is Germany. The Germany, in Germany, we have to install five gigawatts plus of new wind turbines every year to meet our climate targets, and we're not doing that right now. So where is their growth? There's growth right here in Germany to get this country back to the levels that it used to be at, uh, and get this country leading the the uh, the energy vendor uh, like it has done for the last few decades. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the Hoosom Wind. Thank you.